A very rarely known topic in hair transplant is anagen synchronization. So anagen synchronization is a phenomena that we have observed as hair transplant surgeons that when we do a hair transplant all the hair which we have planted they enter into a hair cycle synchronization phase so generally the hair cycle is in desynchronized phase post transplant they undergo telogen simultaneously all the transplanted hair and then they start growing and when they start growing their anagen phase gets synchronized so we have been observing that after 9 to 10 months of the surgery all the hair are in growing phase that is called anagen synchronization and due to which the patient is very happy and they feel that their hair density is very good at 8 to 10 months the patient can see almost 95 to 100% of the transplanted hair growing whereas uh, in further transition of few months which is 13 to 15 months post operatively when the hair enter the phase of anagen desynchronization then you can see only 80% hair in the anagen phase so that is called desynchronization so the reduction in hair volume of the transplanted hair is there by 20 to 30% patient should not become unhappy over that reduction because those hair that he has lost they are not lost forever they'll grow back so uh, this is but this is the final result that he should expect later on in his life for future Understanding the hair cycle is very important to understand the dynamics of hair growth in transplanted hair in normal scalp and in the balding person also. In a normal scalp, 80% of the hair are in the anagen or the growing phase and uh, the anagen phase lasts for few years, sometimes 2 to 6 years. Then the, there is a brief transition phase which lasts only for few weeks which is uh, called catagen. And after that comes the resting phase called the telogen. In telogen phase, the hair stops growing and falls off after few months. So the telogen phase lasts anywhere between 6 to 8 weeks and sometimes 3 months also. So when that population of hair which was growing in a synchronized manner in the anagen phase enters into the desynchronized phase, then there is a reduction in the volume of transplanted hair. So this reduction in volume from the time period 9 to 10 months post-operatively to 14 to 15 months post-operatively raises an alarm and the patients become panicky. They feel that they are losing their transplanted hair. So this is phenomena not mentioned much. This result which we achieve in the anagen desynchronization phase between 13 to 15 months is actually the final result because it's not going to diminish further and uh, this represents 80% of the transplanted hair. Uh, if we have implanted 40 to 45 grafts per square centimeter, then in spite of this reduction from synchronization to desynchronization, this amount of hair which are growing at one particular cross section of time is enough to hide the baldness. And as we know, that hair transplant is an art of creating an illusion of fullness. It does not actually give a full density that one should expect as that of the native hair. So this point is very important and the transplanted hair need to be kept long or styled in such a manner that the baldness is 